Hello friends. Good evening. How are you? We are fine. Nowadays we stay at home and talk to our friends. Sometime they call us and sometime I call them. Some of my friends are in Delhi, Kolkata, Guwahati and England. All of them when they call me up they speak to me for a long time and we talk something very interesting from time to time this week our subject matter of discussion was william b sexby at asan it was a very interesting trip to kaziranga The year was 1976 and at that time William B Sexby who was the attorney general of USA for Richard Nixon as well as for the next president Mr Henry Ford he came to India as the American ambassador. Here is the autograph biography later on. I met the elephant. When we met him, I was only 36 year old and he was 59 years old. I was working for at that time India Carbon Limited at Guwahati and was transferred to was was factory i came back only about 4 months back in 1976 from usa after availing the rotary international scholarship our chairman ka managing director mr b himachinka who is a well known industrialist and was virtually the owner of india carbon limited asked me that i should accompany william b sexby when he visits kaziranga initially i was scared because he was a such an intelligent and very important man he was a lawyer he was an attorney general of america but later on i felt this is an honor for me to know a person and to be intimately know him and travel with him to kaziranga when he came to guwahati he visited our factory at india carbon limited nunmati guwahati why he visited india carbon because india carbon limited was an indian company with american collaboration and indian collaborator were himat singh kas mainly and the american collaborator was great lakes carbon corporation that company belong to ethel kennedy robert kennedy's wife and her family so when some important american visitors come to india they would like to visit india carbon limited plant because that was at that time was the only plant of calcination in asia anyway that is beside the point mr himat singh ka asked me that i should accompany him on a given day i went along with him to kaziranga we organized a get together for him at kaziranga the government of assam took care of his journey in assam and provided security as well as they were hosting him and entire tourist lodge was dedicated to him and all the people of security persons were accompanying him were also nearby i was also in a small cottage near that tourist lodge and i was asked that in one of the days when he stays in kaziranga and visit kaziranga i should be with him and explain to him about the 
geography of Assam, about the importance of Kadironga, about the rhinoceros, tiger and other things. Beside that, we were advised that we should give him a small party and also give a glimpse of Assam's socio-cultural environment. We approached at that time Mr. Jogdish Pukan, who took early retirement from Assam Oil Company and set up a tourist house named Kamruk Complex. We talked to him and he organized in a very nice way a social function, a cultural function where Assam's music, dance and culture was shown. When we went there, very nicely he organized, one buffalo came running. Everybody was scared, the security people ran, helter and skelter, but it was found out this was a part of the show. One of the young boy came running, rode on the buffalo and started singing a song and he started blowing a pipe called Mohor Hingor Pepa and it was liked by the our guest and immensely liked the Bihu dances and asked about the various garments wearing by the dancers. After the cultural show, a very nice sumptuous dinner was served which included American dish like steak and also Assam is this like car. He had very nicely the food and went back home. Next morning again we went inside early morning to Kajiram. When we returned back we had our breakfast. After the breakfast was over we were ready to go to Guwahati. At that point of time he asked me how many times have I visited Kajiranga? I replied to him a number of times. How many times did I see the rhinoceros in Kajiranga? I replied to him that every time I visited Kajiranga, I saw the rhinoceros. Had any time Kajiranga, at Kajiranga any rhino charged me? I said, no, no. The rhinoceros generally don't charge anyone. They are very gentle animal. They remain of their own. Unless and until there is a baby along with them, they become extra cautious. Then female rhino sometimes may charge. William B. Sachs, he asked me, what you do when a female rhinoceros charges you? I replied to him, when rhinoceros comes charging, they come at a great speed. So if they charge, you don't run. You sidetrack yourself because they cannot move immediately and they go ahead. Thereafter, you can run away backward. Mr. Sekri told me, you are a smart guy. You must have thought it over before. That sometime if someone, some rhinos charges you, you will sidetrack yourself, sidestep there and you will rush in during opposite side. Okay? Yes. After this discussion, he was having some, he took out from his pocket and had something he started eating. I asked him, oh, are you having some swing gum? He replied, no, 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 not swing gum. I am having Swing tobacco. I said, swing tobacco? He asked me, would you like to test it? I said, no, no, no. I don't take tobacco. 
only here laborers take tobacco, we call it coiny. He said, what? Tell me again. I told him our workers of the tree planters take the tobacco and we call it coiny. He loved that coiny. He wrote it down. How do you spell? I told him again, I don't know this is a Hindi word, but it is, it sounds kiny. So he laughed at me and he asked his secretary to note it down, kiny. That was the interesting talk we had today among our friends. And those friends were Mr. G. J. Sangvi from Calcutta, O. P. Vijay from Delhi, Devi Saran from Guwahati and Anjoli Medi Bailin from London. So I thought that I will narrate you that story so that you may like it also. Thank you very much. Bye.